What is up guys, my name is Andrew, and welcome to what is probably the last episode of Space Engineers Season 3. This is episode number 34, so so far the longest season that has existed, but it's probably the last one, so get ready to finish things up. This is the day we're probably going to head back to Mars, our beautiful planet right there, our home sweet home, all the way 107 kilometers away. Look how far that is, good lord. Um... But there are a couple things I did off camera that I want to show you guys about before we do some stuff. Now, there are some surprises that you guys might, might uh, I don't know if you guys will like that I did it off camera, but, uh, but you'll see. Okay, so first things first, I've added, I thought that we had, so we have a laser antenna and a normal antenna. But here's the thing, if a ship crashes into the normal antenna, we're screwed because the uh, because that's the only antenna. Um, so the base won't be able to connect anymore. And if a ship crashes into the laser antenna, we're screwed because that's the only antenna going back to Mars. So we won't be able to connect anymore. Not anymore. I've added myself a, uh, a little antenna base um, over here. And I thought it was a pretty good idea to use these new antennas. I was just searching antennas and I saw these and I thought they looked really cool. So I just, I put two up, one's kind of aiming at that part of Mars, one's kind of aiming back toward the base. I thought that would look kind of cool. Now these antennas here act only as the normal antennas, like you, the, the tall ones. Um, so in order to have safety with the laser antennas as well, I added a laser antenna sitting right here. Now the idea is that if any of these antennas, these two, or that one over there, or even one of the laser antennas gets broken, we need to fix it immediately because we always have to have at least some sort of backup. Uh, for the base if things go uh, if things go badly uh, Now going back toward the base actually before I do anything I want to show you guys real quick uh, a lot of you guys commented how you actually change these and it's a bit weird These are not considered light blocks even though they're they're like clearly light kind of they're not light blocks What you have to do if you want to color them is you have to press P and then find a color So that's why they're white is because I was coloring in white But if you find a color you can do that and boom now you have like uh, now you have like neon that color I thought it was a bit like I, I, it didn't make sense to me that's why I didn't even consider it because they just looked like light blocks but these are not uh, light blocks apparently so that's how you color those in case you guys were confused like I was um, moving on okay so I added a couple more batteries I added a oxygen uh, or, or another hydrogen tank because we're gonna want to store quite a bit we have uh, a lot of hydrogen being used over here and I added a couple more oxygen generators um, I think that's it yeah and I hooked them all up. I just haven't welded them in yet, so we're going to do that uh, real quick. And extra batteries, where are those? I think those are down there. I think I've added some extra batteries on the bottom. Yeah. Just uh, just as protection, because if the base goes offline, then we're also in big trouble. There are a lot of things that can go wrong, pretty much. Um, and what else? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, wait! I forgot one thing. Off camera, my friends, I built a new ship. I built a new ship that's going to gather ice at a much faster rate, if it works, than uh, than this thing right here. This right here is meant to mine. It's meant to get things from underground that we can use for components. The other ship that I've made, which is behind me right now, uh, was meant for uh, mining just plain ice. Let's take a look at it. Oh man. <laughs> I hope it works. Okay, say hello to this thing, whatever this is. Um, this is going to go, don't worry, I put that on there for testing, which I haven't even tested it yet. Um, I was going to wait for the video to test it, but it's basically just a miner that uh, that will mine straight down. So it's got this uh, this this mining kind of tool, I guess you could say, on a rotor on a piston. So the rotor is going to spin and it's going to it's going to do a circle. The piston is going to very slowly go down, and this is going to mine into the earth. Uh, and then when it does that, it's going to carry the materials through the piston back up through these into. Uh, into these things. Now I want this ship to be a main powerhouse kind of. So not only does it have storage, but it also has O2 H2 uh, gener O2 H2. Um, what are they called? Not generate. Are they called generators? They might be called generators. It's got those things right there, uh, which will convert the ice into uh, into actual uh, hydrogen, which we then pipe over to here, where we have a, a bunch of mini tanks, which we then pipe up into here, where we have power. So this thing will be able to store a lot of power, uh, uh, which means it'll be able to go out on longer missions. It'll be able to make its own power as well. So I just thought that would be a pretty cool idea to have. Um, and I just spent like maybe an hour or two uh, one day and just went over here and built this thing. Um, but I, I think the first thing we should do is probably test this out. There's still one thing I have to do though. I would like to get uh, landing gears. Because once this thing mines, I want it to be connected to the ground. Because if it's not, we're, we're going to have a lot of trouble mining, I imagine. I mean, we can try it. We can give it a go. I imagine Clang might have a hand in this, though, if we don't uh, if we don't actually connect it to the ground. So a nice uh, landing gear, maybe on a hinge that kind of comes down and can connect, would be really 
cool. Oh, let's go here. I don't know why there's red here. There's like some iron just sitting right there. Okay, we're going to press P, which is going to stop us right there. Uh, and we don't have the landing gears yet, so I don't know how this is going to work pretty much. Um, but let's go ahead and turn on the drill. There we go. The drills are on. They're mining. Let's verify that we're getting stuff into our uh, inventory here. We are... We are. Yeah. So it's currently in the drills. It's not being cargoed over to the thing, but uh, can it be is the question. It cannot. Okay, so there's there's a problem somewhere. Let me go over here real quick and, and test the uh, uh, cargo. Can they get to the cargo? They cannot. Why not? Uh, okay, let me stop this real quick and do some little investigating. Apparently, I'm not an amazing uh, finder of issues. Okay, green, green. This should go all the way down here. Okay, so it's not a problem there. It would have to be a problem here somewhere. The rotor... Ah, that's the problem. We're using... Okay, so the issue is that we're using a normal rotor when we should be using an advanced rotor. So this is a mistake by me. So advanced... Or, and, no, ad advanced. So advanced rotors actually have a better rotor part that allows you to, to connect materials, while this rotor does not have that. So uh, give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and change out these rotors, which unfortunately means replacing all of these pieces here. But I'm going to empty my inventory, and I shouldn't have to use that much more uh, stuff. So let me just real quick do this. It's going to be a fun time. You know what's sad is that I actually... Oh, God. Advanced rotors are much larger than normal rotors. Well, this is a different... Uh, this is a bit of a predicament. Okay, you know what? We're not going to use this this rotor piece. There's... Wait, no. Is there a solution? No, there's no solution. We have to use this. Ugh. Okay. Guys, uh, bear with me. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm Since I, I didn't realize this was a larger piece, I'm going to have to essentially raise this up just a tiny bit. I'm going to use these pieces, then I'm going to use, I think, a medium... Can Like, okay, so these things have a bunch of different things, but I, I think a medium one also has small ones and big ones on it. So I'm going to try to use that uh, to see if I can get this thing, or even just a, a, a conveyor, to see if I can get this thing to connect. So, uh, so guys, bear with me. I'll be back. Okay, this is looking pretty good. This is kind of how I wanted it. Um, God, this is still going to be a bit low, isn't it? Well, it's not going to be that... It's going to be a tad bit lower than it was. But let's... Because the... The rotor... This is essentially all the rotor block, right? This is how much space it's going to take. Uh, I had to rearrange this whole thing. But uh, this is how much space the rotor block is going to take because it needs to convert to large and then back to small for the pistons, which is kind of annoying. But... Um, but I guess that's how, just how we're going to have to do it. Uh, so we're going to stick a piston there. I kind of wonder if we just stick one piston. I really wish there were a block that had like a large a large bit on one side and then just a small bit on the other side. This is the perfect block, honestly. This, this uh, large cargo container would work perfectly. It's just too big for the spot that I want it. Uh, and I think there's also a mod that adds other cargo containers. But I'm trying to do this all in like a vanilla kind of style. So, um, so yeah. Let's get those pistons in there. All right. Oh, man. This is looking fresh, man. It's got blue in the middle. I like it. Uh, we will reinforce this. We'll reinforce all these, I think. Um, but we need to make sure it works first. All right, here we go. We've got all the blocks uh, done. Let's do a quick little test mine. Turn these babies on, see if they can mine a little bit of stuff. It looks like they can. A little wobbly. Not going to lie. Maybe I'll have an option for lock, too. I, I, I would want to lock the rotor, and I'd want to lock the piston so they don't do anything. I don't know if that's a thing, but... Let me go to K real quick. Every test begins with K. And let's see where that ice is. 
Ice. Okay, ice is in the intermediary cargo miner. The inter 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 intermediary cargo. I should have wrote a word that I have trouble pronouncing sometimes. Okay, so it's in the intermediary cargo, which is that there, if you can see it just behind the menu. I would like to see if now I can transfer it over to large cargo. So we'll just go to cargo and transfer. Aha, we can. Okay, so now what if I try to transfer it to the generator? These are uh, generators are turned off at the moment. Uh, but what if I turn them on? Let's go over here to number seven, turn that on. And let's see the inventory uh, for the generator. It's now working. Okay. All right. This is, and then, and then even if I, let's do another test. Um, uh, car, no, uh, uh, tank. Are these filling up? They are. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's working. Okay. It took a while, but we finally got it working. Um, sweet. Okay. First test. Here we go. We're not connected to the ground. We still don't have that little piece, but let's let's give it a go. They're on. Next, start turning. It's having a little bit of trouble. But what happens if we click the piston? Piston is now going down very slowly. Let's just uh, let's just give it some time. It looks like the 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 uh, the rotor is turning very slowly as well. Here we go. So now I think we have a good rotor speed, and uh, let's set this piston to go. And we'll step out and watch it. Ah, uh, don't you love to watch the world get mined? <laughs> it's working pretty well. I want to see it grab that little bit right there. This is extending pretty nicely. Yeah, okay, it is grabbing that bit. Piston number one is almost fully done. Once that one's done, we'll, we'll put out piston number two. Now, what I could do as well is I could set these all to like, uh, uh, like a timer block if I really wanted to be crazy. So I just put a timer block, um, and the timer would go for the, dip, the the amount of time that it takes for this to go here. And then it would automatically activate this guy. Which might be the better... That might be a really good idea of doing things. But let's see how much ice we gather just from one uh, one excavation. Uh, it looks like we have 16, 16, 17, 18, 16, 17, 18, 19, 18, 91. We have a lot of ice. 30... Well, only 37. Not, not 37k. No, yeah, we have a lot of ice. This is pretty good. I'm actually kind of satisfied with this. Because what we can do is we can pretty much just drive this forward a little bit. Do the same thing, drive it forward a little bit, do the same thing, and just keep making a bunch of holes everywhere. I'm actually curious as well how big the holes are. Okay, it's not bad. It's not it's not a gigantic hole. And honestly, if this were taller and I had more pistons, we could do a much larger hole because the uh, the concept is there. However, it's pretty much it's pretty much everything that I need. It doesn't have to be a large hole because it, all it has to do is drive forward, do it again, drive forward, do it again. And I could technically AFK this as well. Not AFK, but like uh, like from the base, I could just uh, press these buttons and get them to work. In fact, I do wonder, can I just do one, two, three, four, just turn them all on? Or will that be too fast for it? So I could actually just press the button. And look how quickly it does it too. It does it, it, does it really quickly. It just kind of goes down, does everything it needs to do, and it comes right back up. But there we have it. It's just going to create a bunch of little holes like this, and it'll be fine. And I think this is more apt, adept, adept at getting um, at getting ice than the other one, because this can carry way more, and it's it's uh, AFKable technically. You can just tell it to do it, and it'll do it. So that's that's pretty nice. Okay, so this is really a perfect spot for it. Uh, I. The, I think the only thing I really need to add to this is a connector, and then possibly some more blocks over here. But uh, but a connector, and I think I'm gonna put it on the side, because that would that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? If we have a connector right there, then uh, we have this kind of reaching all the way out over here as like a like a, a thing, like a place. So let me let me real quick grab some blocks and I'll build out the uh, what what I'm thinking of.
All right, I've gone ahead and built this little pipeline here that will act as the uh, the docking bay for this, assuming we've got the uh, dimensions correct and everything. I added this so that it's a little more, um, a little easier for this thing to get up here. And I might also mine away some of this so it's easier for it to get out of here as well. Uh, all right, let's get in this and, and test this out. Um, hoping for the best here. Now, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have to be able to pilot this thing with, um, with the camera, which is gonna be a little weird. So I think I'm gonna do like an airplane line Kind of like so when you're when you're in an airplane uh, as a pilot you can only see things from the pilot's perspective like you don't have third person or anything that's just like our cameras uh, however pilots have lines that they can follow and once if they follow the lines they know that they'll end up at the right place so that's what I'm thinking I might do as well all right we're ready to connect sweet okay now that we've connected we should see that these guys over here are pulling as much ice as they possibly can and yes they are awesome uh, now what I want to add is some, I want to make sure I have cameras because it's going to be very important to, uh, to be able to see with this thing because we're going to have to completely remove this guy. Yo, look at all these new, look at these things. I didn't even know this was here. Well, we're definitely going to use this. <laughs> it looks like, it, it might look a little bit off with the, uh, with the, with the scheme we've got going on, but we're definitely going to use these. All right. That looks a bit odd, perhaps, but it does look pretty cool. I think. Um, so this is the line that you have to follow, and as long as you follow this line, it will connect. Maybe if anything, be a little bit to the right of the line. But let me uh, let me hop in that thing, and um, and we'll we'll set up the cameras. All right, so we've got our cameras now. This is front lower. This is front upper. So with with our with our camera moving mod, by the way, this makes things so much easier to see. Uh, we can actually see the uh, the vehicle from here with our front upper, which is nice. Our front lower can't see the vehicle, but it can see like a nicer view in front. Um, we need to add some lights to this thing. Uh, but now we've got the um, left camera. This will show us the left side of things. It'd be really useful to see uh, that over there. So we can control it. It makes it uh, makes it really useful for that. Uh, we've got the right camera, which is number five. Let's just see. Yeah, let's just see the right side. Same thing as the other one. Number six is our connector camera, which I, I misnamed actually. But it'll let us see the connector like very close up. If we move it around a little bit, we can see that and see just how close it is. And then finally, number seven is our backup camera, which shows us uh, like a kind of third person view of the back of the ship. And you can also, apparently you can also see down with this camera, which is nice because I don't have a directly down camera. Okay, I think everything is set up here with, uh, as far as the ice miner goes, I think we're good to leave the ice miner here and everything is set up. We, it turns out we don't need those landing gears, so that's fine. This thing is fully functional. It can connect to the base. It's currently not connected, but it can. Um, how much power does it have? Uh, I guess I'd have to get in the seat for that, wouldn't I? Uh, K, remote access, ice miner. It's got enough power for a, a whole day, um, so that's energy fine. Low. I'm not terribly worried about that. Our energy's low, but uh, I think we can leave this here. We've got a nice little little pillar there uh, that will kind of tell it where it needs to go if, in case it's like off in the distance, and also that's there. Actually, I do want to test one thing as well, real quick. I do want to hop into here, remote access, ice miner, take control of the bottom one. Can I see? Okay, yes. Yeah, so I can see the, uh, the the line that I need to be on. So if I'm on this line, then it should connect to the... I'm on the wrong one. It should connect to the, uh, the thing just fine. Uh, right there. If I'm off the line, then I might have a little bit more trouble. So I need to just stay on that line and, it's, and it'll be fine. I'm pretty sure this is good. Let's do one final check of the base, and then we'll set up for our mission back to Mars, which is going to be fun. Going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a task, but I think we're ready. Well, we're definitely ready. Well, maybe we've forgotten something. Energy Who knows? Critical. But, uh, but yeah, let's do one final check of the base, and we'll be ready. Okay, guys, I have taken a look around the base, and everything looks like it is done. Uh, I've added some more cameras right there, just so we can see what's going on, if the need be. But that looks so cool over there, actually. <laughs> Look at this. It, it looks cool just like kind of jutting out to the base and going to like a little separate uh, charging bay kind of thing. And I, I definitely like the green light as well. But there are two last things that I want to do. Okay, so the first of the two last things is I want to make another uh, projector pit just to verify that it works all together. We're just going to basically turn on the... Uh, well, the projector's already turned on. We're just going to turn on the... Um, uh, the welders and see if it welds the whole thing up just like that because last time we had a lot of uh, a lot of trouble trying to um, trying to weld it and we didn't do one full weld like this it was more like uh, 30 minutes of attempting to get the thing to weld but I want to try it all together and then the last thing we need to do is we need to set up 
we need to get the materials for three bases, three mini bases, because uh, unfortunately this, this um, where is it, this antenna right here cannot reach all the way to the planet. It can only reach 50,000 um, uh, meters, or 50 kilometers, uh, and that's, that's 100,000 uh, 107,000 rather meters away. So we're gonna need like some relay stations and I don't really know how that works because I've never done relay stations. I'm assuming I can just go and put little bases up there and it'll be fine. Um, but I've thought of it and I think the base is just gonna consist of an antenna, a battery, and a solar panel. Just those three things should be all I need, right? Maybe? <laughs> I really hope so. I really hope I don't need little welders for them or anything, but I think an antenna, a battery, and a solar panel are gonna do just fine. Um, Maybe two, maybe two solar panels. I don't know. I don't know exactly what we need, but, uh, but yeah. Okay, so let's turn those on and see what happens. I'm gonna turn them on from here actually, because this is where we're gonna want to uh, be using it anyway. Um, technically, just from the base in general. Uh, so welders, base welders. Do I have all of them in here? I think I probably do. Yeah. Okay. So all the base welders are there. Turn them all on. Let's let's just sit back a little bit. Let it let it do its thing, because you know we wouldn't be able to see it. Actually, we would. Oh, cameras. Uh. We have our cameras. We have our welder camera main. We'll we'll do that one, or custom data it apparently. So we can see we can see this beauty going on right here. So from this view, it already looks like it's pretty much done everything, but uh, but that could be deceptive. Let's go back here. Um, to there's more cameras. Because keep in mind, we would only be able to see these from Mars. We'd only be able to look through these to see that everything has been welded. It looks like that's all welded. That is welded, 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 welded. Okay, yeah, it looks like everything on this side has been welded. Let me do one more check on the other side. Camera, um, side number two. We'll go ahead and view that. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like all those pieces have been welded as well. Okay, so wait, hang on. Oh, hang on, what is this? What is this piece, why is that not welded? Let me, let me go over there and see uh, see what's going on with that. That is the piece that we had trouble with earlier, if you guys will remember. Um, is it not in place or something? Does it need to be even farther back? I think that's the case, probably. You know, alternatively, what we could do, if we really want to get this thing welded, <laughs> is we could... Uh, look at this. Okay, so we'll have, our, we'll have our maximum distance at 4, like it was before. Uh, and then what we'll just do, while the pistons are on, we'll just say reverse. They'll weld it, and we'll say reverse again. And it'll put it right back into where it was. And it should get the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's an option. That actually might be the easiest. We'll just have to notice that that thing is not welded. We'll have to reverse and then unreverse. Um, okay, so easy. Easy peasy. Let me just real quick do one more thing. Okay, I've written a little guide uh, for how, how this thing works. Just so that future me will know, like, once I, like I, when I'm on the cameras, I can actually know what's going on. So first you turn on the projector, then you turn on the welders, then you reverse the piston. Uh, once that thing has been welded, you reverse it again back to like the normal position. Then you connect the connector, which uh, let's go actually through that step right now. Um, to connect the connector, all we have to do is, let's let's pretend we're uh, actually connected to the base. So we would, I would probably go on a camera. I'd probably be in like this camera right here. Cause that, that has a good view of the connector. Then what we wanna do is we want to K, Remote access, maybe remote access. This one's only 11 meters, so maybe that is the one. I know it's gonna be called static grid. Oh no, first what we need to do, control panel. Why am I not accessing the control panel of the, of the ship anymore? Okay, that's fine, we disconnect from the camera. We need to go to our remote control. Um, our remote control should be called transport, so we'll just go to that and we will go to control it. Okay, so now we should be able to access the cameras on this thing, and this is the camera that we want, the camera that, it, that can actually see this. Okay, so next we want to disconnect the, uh, we want to disconnect the merge block first. So uh, merge, merge block, not base weld, we don't disconnect that one, we want to disconnect this guy right here. But let's, yeah, let's go ahead and disconnect the merge block. Let me make sure that our batteries are on auto. Sweet, that's off, that's unlocked. Everything I think is good. Okay, so we go into K, merge. And the merge block should be in our bottom bar, but it wasn't for some reason, I don't know why. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and disconnect it. We'll just turn it off. Now we're disconnected. And next we wanna use the gyros to kind of tilt this way. There we go. Now we can connect to that. 
turn this on recharge mode and we should be gaining power. Okay, sweet. Okay, once that's done, we're looking at the camera like we were from Mars. Uh, we wanna add some ice, disconnect with enough power to make hydrogen and fly away. We don't need to do those steps because I think we know how to do that. It's, it's, uh, it's relatively straightforward. As long as we know this thing works, we're good. Uh, I think I might want to also turn off the, the welder and projectors, but, uh, welder, yeah, we'll turn off the base welders, turn those babies off, and turn off the projector as well. Projector, turn you off. Just so that when this flies away, it doesn't immediately make another one, because we don't particularly care for it to do that, we just want it to make another one when we, when we want it to. Um, okay, I think everything is good. Final thing we need to do is we need to get some parts. Uh, and, and what do we need for these? We're gonna, let's say we wanna build, we wanna have enough for two solar panels, a single battery, and a single antenna. So, what are we gonna need for that? Okay, so after calculating all these, for one, for one such base with one battery, one antenna, and two uh, solar panels that we're going to want, we're going to need 40 radio, 40 radio components, 47 computers, 168 steel plates, uh, 88 construction components, 60 small, small steel tubes, 40 large steel tubes, 80 power cells, uh, 64 solar cells, 24 girders, and 8 bulletproof glass. So let's all multiply, multiply that by 3 and we'll get everything aboard this beautiful ship here. Alright. Hey guys, I have some bad news. Unfortunately, OBS decided to crash at possibly the worst time that it could. Uh, when I went back to Mars, pretty much. So now here we are sitting back at Mars with no recorded uh, events of what happened. So let me real quick give you a rundown. So we set off to make the relay stations. Uh, we wanted to make two or three relay stations between Europa and Mars, each with a battery, an antenna, and two solar panels to keep them powered up. We took off from Europa and landed at an asteroid and placed our first relay station, the Europa Mars uh, relay station Alpha. Then we left that asteroid, went to another asteroid, which was about 30,000 meters away from the first one, and made relay station Bravo. So now we have two relay stations between Mars and Europa, which allows us to connect from Mars to the Europa base. I haven't actually tested that out from here, so this is going to be interesting. But anyways, say hello to the Mars base. It's, uh, it's beautiful. It's slightly on fire, but uh, no, it's beautiful nonetheless. Still a, uh, still a nice base. Let's jump down here. I just realized we have a perfectly good set of stairs that I didn't use, but uh, but anyways, let's go check out the Mars base real quick before we test out the um, the uh, the other base because I want to see if it works. Uh, in fact, you know what? I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm feeling good. Let's let's use the tram. Yeah, you're out of power. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do in that case. Um, I believe. Do we have in here? Really? Okay. Do we have in here some of these? Oh my god. Oh, I, I've forgotten about the, uh, the such large amount of materials we have on this base. Okay, let's grab some of those. Well, not that many of those. Dang. The reason I want to grab some of these is because we're going to, to grind down one of these batteries. Pretty much the easy way out, I know, but, but, uh, but it'll be fine. Weld it back up, and now we can go. Okay, here we go. Uh, do we use third person for this? We'll try. Okay, third person's not easy for this. Okay, we don't use third person for this, do we? All right, it's fine. We'll we'll just I don't know. <laughs> this is gonna, we have to use third person, otherwise we're gonna die. Um. There we go. Okay. Oh, how how smooth is that? Look at that. Look at that that smoothness. Okay, now let's get up to speed and we'll get out of we'll get out of our seat pretty much to see where we're going. Nice speed. All right, let's check it out. Okay, pretty good. Just let ourselves kind of go. That's actually one thing I should have done. I should have I should have encased this in uh, in blocks. That would have looked really cool. Oh, did we get like the perfect speed to land here? We might have. How did we manage to set this up too? Uh, we might crash. Oh no. Oh. Okay, we crashed a tiny bit. All right, this is the first. This is the first time I'm stepping back into the um, this base. Welcome to Grand F. Beth Station, the uh, the station of our tram. Let's hop into here. If I remember correctly, it's pressurized. So let's give it a second. There we go. Oh, look at the beautiful light. Brings back memories. 
zero zero upgrade modules. All right, that's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go check out this stuff. I, I really like the look of this. It looks really cool. Back in here, air vent refinery. Oh, that's cool. When did I set that up? God, I've forgotten everything. I've forgotten how everything works. We need more lights in here for sure. Um, oh, the, the mini mobile, which is out of power, unfortunately. We've got this this beautiful this beautiful piece of machinery. <laughs> Uh, that could kill you, apparently. Got these things. Oh, the Hall of Legends! The Hall of... Oh, it feels so cozy! All I need is, like, some torches or something. No, that'd be a horrible idea, since we're inside and uh, using pure oxygen. Okay, but this is what I really want to take a look at. This right here is our antenna room. Uh, which is... It's not really an antenna room. It's more like just a room next to an antenna. But uh, let's hop in here. It's got a remote control block as well. This is going to be interesting. Moment of truth, my friends. Let's press K. Wait, that's L. Let's press K. Remote access. There it is. We have access to the Europa remote base. And it, the connection is stable, which is good. I'm not sure if it, the connection is via our... Um, uh, these, are our relay. these are the relays we set up that I told you about. I'm not sure if the connection here is via our laser antenna, which we did set up, or via our, um, our normal antennas. But either way, let's go ahead and open the terminal of that. So what do I want to do? First thing I want to do is I want to get the ice miner. So ice miner. I Okay, I was scared for a second. Ice miner. Remote. See, that's so cool. Ice mine re. It brings up the remote control for the ice miner. I love the searching in this. It's just so good. Um, okay, control this and go into the cameras. Oh god, we cannot see worth any Oh, there we go. It just took a second to load. All right, so let's let's do a test run here. This is so cool. Uh let's let's what what's the first thing we do? Power stable. Let's disconnect, I think is the first thing we do. We don't have any batteries on recharge mode as far as I know. Uh battery. You guys all have power, right? So because I didn't have these on recharge mode, it actually looks like they're, uh, they are losing power to the base. But I think we have enough to keep going, so let's go ahead and disconnect. Yeah, we have two days of power. Okay, let's give this thing a go. Let's drive around. Let's connect to number three, because we can see the, uh, we can see the actual thing with this. And we're going to go make a hole, pretty much, over in this direction. Man, this thing is so cool. Honestly, I, I wish I I wish I had set up some sort of projector system where it could um, project like a little light, so we don't make holes somewhere and then forget about them. And then I really should have also set up like a maybe maybe I'll go in with the welder and set up a little area so I know where all the holes are. But anyways, let's um let's park this thing, go into the operations one, switch on. Oh god, it's so loud. Editing Andrew will probably edit down the sound. I hope <laughs> it's so loud. Okay. And then uh, turn on these. We never added like a top-down camera to see exactly what's going on in this thing, but this one will suffice. It looks like we're getting quite a bit of ice. We have an already 91k in the intermediary. I want to check the O2H2. Okay, those are those are filling up as well to try and uh, to try and grab as much ice as they possibly can. Okay, I think these things are done. Let's press three and four together so they start reversing, and we'll bring them right back up. This is so cool. This thing can work on its own. In fact, let's let's uh, let's press these as well. Turn that off. There. Now I can actually think. Gosh. <laughs> okay. Let's let's disconnect from this. Actually, let's go to a different one. See how it works. Remote access back to Europa Base. We can actually connect directly to the ice miner, which is really cool as well. Can I see how much power it has? The ownership. Oh, okay. It'd be nice to just immediately see how much power this thing has from here. But, uh, but let's connect back to the base and let's... Oh, okay. Let's go to the, uh, the, rig, the, the rigs it up thing. So remote for that and rig. We got the rigs it up welder. Okay. Actually, let's go to the Chris Craft Scout real quick. I want to go into a camera and check it out. We're in recharge mode. Ah, that's actually good. That actually looks like a message. Turn off recharge mode. Okay, turn off recharge mode first. Disconnect this. Oh, I've forgotten to turn on these. I forgot to turn on everything, actually. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. What's happening? What is happening? 
There we go. Okay, it was it was acting weird. So let's say, for instance, I was in the ice miner and it uh, and I, I I broke it. I don't know what's happening with it. Can I go and find it? Let's go with the Chris Craft miner and because this thing's real small. This is a real small ship. I can just fly around with this thing. Yeah, that's so cool. I can just come and look at this like as if I'm a I'm an actual player. Oh, I love it. And now I'm back here, safe and sound in the Mars base. Let's do one more thing for Rigs It Up Welder. Can we connect? Yes, we can. Control that. Get into a camera. Okay, step one. Recharge mode is off. I hope we have enough power then. Turn that on and then unlock. Okay, it did not have enough power. Amazing. Good job, Andrew. <laughs> You've killed the only welder that you had. Well, the, the second only welder. Well, this is why we have the other welder, so it should be fine. So see, that is the issue that we have. Okay, I've got a solution. This guy, the power ship. The reason we're connecting to the power ship is because the power ship has a landing gear on it that we can use, uh, which we can use to move the other ship. Okay, so this thing. All right, there we go. And then this ship to the rescue. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect to this and just move it out of the way. Just trying to get a nice connection. Okay, we have a nice connection there. Let's lock it. Okay, switch camera to this one. Can we fly? Yes, we can. Okay, so the thing has enough... Well, the thing... I, okay, I don't know if we can necessarily fly, but the thing almost has enough power just to, just to hold this thing. Now that we've moved it out of the way, the next step is going back into the Stellar Welder, which is here. Uh, connects to it. We're going to basically take over that little port because that's the one that allows us to get materials. In fact, before we do that, let's stick a let's stick a temporary battery on this thing. Um, so, G. How do I switch ship G? Guys, I think there's a flaw with my plan. I don't think we can build anything from this. I don't think we can control because Control G is the is the command to switch over to build mode, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm trying to do that, and it won't work. So I don't think we can build like blocks from our remote ships, which is crazy, but I guess maybe it's more difficult since there's no player nearby. So these welders are essentially only useful for repairing. They cannot place blocks. That seems to be what, what, what I'm understanding. So unfortunately this welder right here is out of commission until further notice because I cannot connect this to there forcefully. Um, I wish I could. I wish I wish you could forcibly forcefully make a connection like that. But actually, well, you know what you know what else I can do? I can grunt. Here's what I can do. Yeah. Okay. There's there's one thing I can do. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a. Um... Oh, never mind. Hang on. That's the other ship. Okay. Let's uh, back this up in here. I do have a I do have one solution for this, uh, since you can only repair blocks. I, what I was gonna do is I was gonna grind down the battery and then repair it. Maybe if I grind down the battery past the level of the, uh... Ugh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. Okay. Oh, it's got mini batteries. Oh god, mini batteries. I don't know if I can do anything with that. Oh god, please don't, please don't tip over. Okay. Not that piece, this one. Okay, weld it up. I don't want to break these pieces. Yeah, I want to break. I want to break that piece. No. Okay, well there there is a flaw in our plan. If we forget to turn off recharge mode or the batteries don't have enough power to last on their own, then it's pretty much a busted ship unless we come back here and fix this, right? Because we cannot we can't access a ship from here. Like we can't access its stuff, can we? I don't think so. And we can't control G to place anything. We can't shift G. Shift G is not a thing, right? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that there's nothing we can do with this ship, unfortunately. Uh, I I didn't understand that this was a thing that you couldn't do, but but I, I guess it seems it is. Do not forget to turn off recharge mode and make sure all the ships have power before you use them. I guess is the uh, is the moral of the story. Oh man, <laughs> that makes me want to be extra careful about recharge mode, cause. I thought for a second that possibly there was a chance that we didn't have enough power. But I was like, nah, it'll be fine. Even if we don't have enough power, we have a backup welder, right? No, it doesn't matter, unfortunately. 
You know what would have solved a lot of problems here, actually? If I had just put, put these all on a timer, and when I click the timer, it disconnects and turns on recharge mode. Or, like, the reverse of that. And then when I click the timer again, it reconnects and turns off. And then turns on. It, basically, I just make it so I don't uh, have, a, have a problem. And the final part of the test I wanted to do the, to test the base is I wanted to press... Let's get out of here. Let's, uh... Yeah, okay, let's get out of here. Let's go into remote access. Make sure none of the ships are still out and about, because if they are, they'll eventually run out of power. We'll go ahead and control this. Connect to the ice mine, uh, the transport. So we do have remote control for the transport. Let's go ahead and... So now we're connected to here. We have our batteries that were on recharge mode. I'm going to test... Hang on. I want to make sure that they have at least a little bit of power so I don't screw up again. Stored power, 50 kilowatt hours. Max stored power, 50 kilowatt hours. So all of them are full. That's good. That's the first test. Turn them off recharge mode. What we're going to do now is we're going to unlock. Oh no, we're going to add ice. Keep them on recharge mode for a second. Let's add ice. I'm just going to grab all the ice I can from this. We're going to try to send over maybe 400,000 ice, which is a lot of ice, by the way. Okay, so the next step here is we want to disconnect. Uh, turn off recharge mode right there, and then disconnect from the base. Whoops. Yeah, actually, yeah, we want to, well, we don't want to turn those on necessarily. Disconnect from the base, and by disconnecting from the base, we should now start to see our hydrogen go up. We don't need, I mean, I probably want a full load of hydrogen, actually, to be honest. So let's let this thing sit here. It can sit here for about an hour, but it'll probably only take um, maybe 10 minutes for it to get full. And once it's full, we can also turn on the engine if we if we need more power. So let's let that thing sit there, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm tired of waiting. I'm pretty sure we have enough hydrogen here to get to where we want to go. Um, we have a decent load of ice. Uh, let me actually check real quick how much we have specifically. 420,000, which is uh, almost... A, it's, it's about half our, our volume that we could carry. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's... um. Where, how's, how's this... Where's our... I don't know how our remote control block is faced. If space is up, or if if uh, down is up, but let's turn these on. We now have power. Okay, so up is up is up. Space is forward. Okay, it's a little weird, but let's uh, let's let's I guess we'll go. Let's try this thing, man. Let's let's get this going. We'll swap to this one right here, which is our which is our our um, our top view, and let's let's start expending some power to get ourselves out of the atmosphere. So we want to aim toward this. Let's get ourselves to a nice speed, and then we'll turn off the uh, the dampeners. 200's pretty good. Okay, dampeners are off, which means we shouldn't be using any more hydrogen. We've got an hour of power, which should be plenty uh, for us to get to our base. Let's let this thing fly. That's pretty much all we have to do. Let it fly until it gets close enough. All right, we're just passing Relay Alpha, which is going to look a bit interesting. Uh, the uh, the relays are actually placed on an asteroid. Oh, there we go. It just rendered in. Okay, I thought it might not render in because we were... Um, technically, our character is on the planet. And, uh, and this thing is not next to our character. <laughs> so rendering is a bit odd. But, um, but yeah, I guess we'll just let this thing keep flying. It's already rebuilt all of the hydrogen we used, which is good because we might need it. Okay, we're running out of hydrogen, which is not good. Oh, we, we're, we're in a bit of a situation. We are in a bit of a situation, my friends. Our hydrogen is low, and it looks like we're having trouble stopping. I don't know what exactly we can do here, other than attempt to just boost the hydrogen at the last second. 
god, we're going so fast. Okay, we can stop if we tilt a certain direction. Oh, we're in trouble. Do we have? Ah, uh, yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, my friends. The weight is too high. Ah, oh, we're through the planet. Oh, man. Okay, that's unfortunate. Our ice transport thing does not have enough power. Yeah, okay, so either we have to use a lot less ice or we need to make another edition of this thing in like creative mode somewhere else and then put it on the uh, put it on the thing. Just with more thrusters. Possibly even uh, more hydrogen tank. All right, guys, that's an unfortunate end. That really is. Um, the ice base, it, 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 the base seems to work. It doesn't work as intended exactly. Uh, the transport ship doesn't work. And it also appears that we cannot weld things. The welders are pretty much useless. Uh, unless the blocks are already placed, which is really unfortunate. I didn't foresee that happening. But uh, as far as being able to control the base from here goes, it works really well. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. And in fact, if we wanted to, what we could do is, if we really wanted to get that ice, we could send the ice to one of the, uh, like, just outside the Mars atmosphere, and then we could fly up a ship to manually get it. It'd be a heck of a lot quicker than going all the way to Europa, so at least the base makes things easier. It just, um... Unfortunately, it just doesn't it doesn't come all the way, which is what I uh, what I really wanted, but it's fine um, That's the end of season three guys. That is the this is the last episode of season three uh, We've done everything that I've wanted to do in this season. Uh, we made we made the tram That was one of the huge things we made the base. We made this thing inside. We made this gigantic shaft There's just so much there's so much that we did in this season so much larger than any of the other ones Um Season 1 was just starting out, Season 2 was much larger than Season 1, and Season 3 seems to be much more ambitious as well, so... Uh, as for Season 4, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break, but as far as ideas, I, I don't... Uh, a lot of people have suggested going to the alien planet, which would be just kind of in line with, uh, with how the seasons have been progressing. And a lot of people have suggested as well, uh, start in space. And then of course there's also the possibility of something completely new, something that we haven't seen before, uh, happening as well, so... Um, make sure you guys leave your comments. There might be one more episode of this season, uh, where I do like a cinematic, um, tour of everything. So if, if you're watching this late in the future, maybe look out for that one that might exist, uh, somewhere, but that one's, that one won't be like a normal episode. It'll just be like camera angles and looking at stuff in a cool way. And I might go in and add some more lights and stuff to make everything look cooler. But, um, but yeah, that is the end. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, at the end, it got a little bit more um, few and far between between the episodes, so uh, I'm definitely going to take a little bit of a break, but uh, but yeah. If you guys like this episode and the season as well, please post, put the hit the like button. I can't speak, man. After the end of every video, it's like, it's like I lose words. Words are gone from my brain. <laughs> uh, if you guys have any comments, now is the time to say them for season four, things you liked about season three, things you thought could have been different. Put those down in the comments section below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers.